What's up, names? I'm Pulse American. This is another game plan on Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm probably thinking you guys are tired of Strike Zone by now, but <laughs> you know, it's still new or not Strike Zone 24 7 while I'm recording this, you know, this will probably go up quite a bit later. But you know, I gotta take advantage of it while it's here. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's going to become another permanent playlist or not, but I mean, on Black Ops 2 it said that Nuketown 24 7 was ending on Monday, so I'm thinking the same thing's gonna be going on here. So, anyways. Uh, into what I was about to say, as you can see, I'm going to be using the links here, and um, if you saw a video I posted a couple days ago called USR Dedication or something along those lines, um, but I was talking about how I wanted to use the, where I was just like dedicating myself to using the USR for a while, and it's been like two days since I started that, ooh, get wallbanged, kid, it's been like two days since I've started that, and uh, well, this would be the second day, but, I mean, this is quite a bit at the end of the day, you know. It's like 1 a.m., so. So, yeah. But, um. Anyways, this is like the first results of this, and I think, I think it's worked. I mean, one of the main goals was to finally get a USR clip, which I still haven't done. I don't know why. I just, I mean, you know, other than splits and leftovers, I just haven't hit anything actually usable with it yet. Which is kind of disappointing, because it's... Mm, I don't know. I just... I just want a USR clip, but I don't know. I just don't seem to have luck with it or something. Even though I usually do pretty good with it when I use it, it just... The clips don't come like they do with the semi-autos. I don't know what it is, but... But hey, whatever. Um... Nah, you had to take that fourth kill teammate, really. Like, I could have had a quad feed there. Uh, why can't I climb it? Okay. Apparently you have to be... Not climbing sideways, because physically I don't think you can climb up a ladder sideways, so that would make sense. Dog, gotta kill it, I gotta, oh, it, that was three hit marks on the dog, usually they take three shots to kill. No, 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 oh, nades, okay, whatever. Um, so anyways, I feel like my other goal, my other main goal is to improve myself as a player. Um, I'm thinking if I just limit myself to using a semi-automatic weapon, which typically I wouldn't do as good with it as I would with the... I mean, I usually do pretty good with the USR anyways, but usually not quite as good as with the uh, with a semi-automatic weapon, because, you know, in a situation where I normally would die with a, with a bolt action, I can kind of just spray, or even just... not necessarily even spray, just have a quick follow-up shot with a semi-auto weapon, which basically makes it easier to win more gunfights, and I generally do better. And a lot of that comes into hitting more clips as well, like sometimes if I miss a shot I can... <laughs> I got that kill. Sometimes if I miss a shot I can, you know, make it up with uh, another quick shot with the semi-auto and still get the clip. Or, you know, if I... I don't know... Just get a hit marker, you know, I can... Easily correct that. Aw, oh, really? I... <clears throat> I really hate the Bulldog, that's just... But <laughs> you know, I, I was... I think I talked about this before, but I think that Infinity War just has something against dogs. Like, they just want people to hate dogs. They made the most overpowered weapon in COD history have dog in the name. They called it a bulldog. And then they made the most overpowered killstreak in the game a dog. Like, what does Infinity War have against dogs? Why do they want people to despise them? Oh gosh, like, look at it! It's so overpowered! It's so bad! Ugh. Well, whatever. So anyways, like I was saying, I feel like I've accomplished my goal. I mean, I'm probably going to keep doing this in the future, because, you know, I was just doing this for a couple days, just limiting myself to using a semi-auto, so I'd, or a bolt action, so I'd be more accurate when I do get back to using the semi-auto snipers. And I actually feel like that's helped a lot. Like, if you notice my gameplay right now, I mean, even though I'm not doing the best, but, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think the lobby's the reason for that. I mean, look who I'm playing against. I'm playing against people using bulldogs, and like, look, look who I'm, look at this cancer that I'm playing against. And this is why I'm not doing, like, amazing this game. Because I have to deal with that. I have to deal with that BS. Alright. I have to deal with that bull dog. Ah, oh, damn. Look at this kid. He's so sweaty. He's just dripping. He's dripping. Yeah, right. I'm probably gonna play another game, because that was very short. Um, so anyways, I might cut it to the next game here, but I might not, I don't know, it just depends probably how fast I get into a game, if it just, I mean, it depends if I want to stay in this lobby or not, I might, I might not, I don't know, but anyways, if I do cut it here, then, yeah, but if not, then you can keep listening to me, because I'm gonna keep talking now, but just in case I don't cut it, like, if the same lobby I end up staying in, and, 
yeah, because I might, so. Anyways, let's just see what game types we get, because it depends on the game type. Um, okay, I'll try Domination. Domination is usually not too bad. I try to avoid TDM and sometimes Cranked. I don't, I mean, it's not that I dislike them, I usually do like those game types, but, um, A, I feel like they go by too fast, even though I did just play TDM, but I just literally could not find another lobby. <laughs> A, they end really fast, like, the, the games just don't last very long, and B, um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just feel like they're more difficult to hit clips on, I guess, I mean, even though I do, not even for crank, like, crank people run around so much because they're moving so fast, so I've actually, that's put me in some good opportunities for clips, I have hit some nice clips on crank before, that's actually one game type that I mainly played before, like, drop zone even came out, I just, I just played a lot of cranked and went for clips there, and I hit some, a couple of my better clips in there. You know, some nice clips and cranked. So, it's not that. Especially on strikes on cranked, I've got a couple clips on that alone. <coughs> but I don't know, I feel like it's different in the 24-7 playlist. It's just, it's not the same. But I'm gonna be using the links again, because I don't know why, it's just been, it's just been my thing lately. Speaking of which, I hit a nasty clip of a couple games before recording this, like, almost a nasty clip. I mean, it... It got split, always as always, but, like, I think, I'm not sure I have to go back and look at it again, because I literally just, like, stopped the recording and started the next one up, but I think it might have been a six on, if it didn't split. If it didn't split. I know it split, though, I saw it, but, like, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed that it split, because it could have, would you teammates get out of my damn way? They're just, like, leaning around the corner just to block my vision. Scrub. No, you kid. These, these kids are sweaty. Very sweaty. I don't like them. I don't know what the fun in sweating with an Amtar is, but whatever. Have to kill the dog. Must eliminate at all costs. It's overpowered. Alright, so as I was saying. Ooh. Um marker. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Hit markers. Oh, you better not. You spawn-killing little hoe. Ah, right. So, as I was saying, I feel like I actually generally have been better as a player. Like, normally, I would be spraying more of the links. I wouldn't necessarily be doing worse KD-wise, but I'd be spraying more. I feel like I've been getting closer to hitting clips more often. I've been getting better-looking clips. I mean, I have had a couple of nice clips since I... since I've been doing this, and, um... You know, yeah, I mean, they haven't been sprays, which is good. I don't think I've sprayed one clip since I started this, which is good, because I sort of had that problem in the past of just like, well, okay, I'm not walking out there. I had that problem in the past of just, like, spraying too many clips, and that just sort of makes it more of a leftover to me. If I, you know, if it's, I mean, I, I can tolerate, like, a spray on a kill, like, one kill maybe, if it's not too bad. But, I mean, when when too much of the clip becomes a spray, it's just... Just something I like to avoid. Wow, these kids are sweating their pussies off. I do not like it. Like, really? What's even the fun... Ooh, what's even the fun... Sweating your nuts off. I had to go for the random no-scope. I always go for the random no-scope. Like, if I don't see anybody else... No-scope. <sighs> oh, no. Ah, that jump shot should have hit. That should have been a collateral. Stupid. Whatever. Get a launcher, so if I spawn outside again, I can destroy this thing. Actually, I'm probably just gonna go outside because that's probably where I'll find enemies. Let me come strike. Wonderful. Well, I'll just save this for after that. No point trying to blow the thing up on Just gonna get chemmed on. Yay. Chemmed. I don't know why, but to like. Oh, yeah, well, maybe I should have taken care of that before. I forgot about the interference thing for a minute. Yeah, whatever. I don't know why, but, like, it seems like every time someone gets a freaking care package chem strike, it's always on the enemy team. I've seen, like, in the whole time I've been playing this strike zone 24-7, I've probably seen at least, like, 20 enemy chem strike care packages and about two teammate chem strike care packages. I don't know why. Like, I mean, you can clearly see it's not an actual chem, because nobody even has enough kills for one. And on top of that, these kids kind of suck. Damn it. Spawn kills, though. But, like, I don't know why they're 
always they're always on the freaking enemy team. Like very rarely. I've I've seen like literally three I know I said two earlier, but I just remembered another one that I it was a couple games ago actually, I just forgot about it, but you know, literally about three freaking temp strikes from my team getting care packages. And every other one has been enemy. Uh, probably well over ten. Maybe more like fifteen or twenty. So yeah, it's kinda weird. I don't know why. It's like I just always get the teammates who don't like getting care packages or something. I don't know. Ooh, smacked. No, dog, so overpowered. Alright, let's um I'll take care of that helicopter any moment now. Actually, this building's pretty decently open. I might be able to... Oh yeah, I can do this. This building's actually open now. Never really paid attention to the roof of this building in the blown-up version, but yeah, I guess it is pretty open. So, yeah, took care of that. Yep, I thought that teammate was an enemy. Smacked. Oh no, if he wall bangs me... Oh, get smacked, kid. Oh, what? They, um, hmm, double teamed. Sweet. Ugh. <coughs> I need to turn this game around a little bit. I think I need to start doing a little bit better. Uh, hit marker. E. Hmm. But like I was saying earlier, I feel like I have become generally a lot more accurate. Like, compare this to some of my other Lynx and or VKS and or Maverick A2 gameplay. And just sort of compare the uh, the playstyle difference here. Not necessarily even the playstyle, just like the accuracy. Okay, that was a bad accuracy, but you know. The, the lack of spraying, I'll put it that way. Plus I think I'm more accurate and just like better in general. That was a nice hit marker. Ah, oh, There probably could have been a clip. Nah, that guy getting promoted split my face. That would be actually the worst way to get split is by somebody getting promoted. Like... I mean, it's not even somebody just rage quitting or joining. It's gonna make you promoted. That would be... I don't even think I've ever seen anyone get split by that. That would just suck. Huh. What am I stuck on? Especially if it's you. Like, I don't know if the feed shows you getting promoted, or if it just shows your teammates, but... If you promoted yourself and then that split your feed, <laughs> that would suck. Okay. That was, that was embarrassing. Ooh. Somewhat embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. Let's see if I can pick off this kid. Oh man, I hate when the screen shakes like that. I don't even know what the hell caused that, but some random explosion or something just caused my screen to vibrate wildly. That sounded uh, a little weird, but yeah, it did. That's why I couldn't aim right there. Makes it quite hard to aim a sniper. However, aiming a red gun while your screen's shaking is quite a bit easier because you can spray. I mean, you can kind of spray a sniper too, but it's not nearly the same. <clears throat> Dogs, overpowered as always. I don't know what it is, but Infinity War just wanted to make people hate dogs. They just wanted people to be satisfied by killing them and murdering them in this game. And hate the name. They, they wanted people to hate the word dog. Just because of what it means in this game. Oh, there was a clip right there. What? I got melted so fast, there was absolutely nothing I could do. I think I've been a multi or something. I just got melted before I could even do anything. It's so sad. It's quite sad. Ah, oh, shit. No, you better not wallbang that. I hate when people just wallbang, like the biggest walls. Dude, that could have been triple. There were three right there. Oh, yeah. At least these kids are, like, not camping really heavily and sort of grouping up. I'm making for some clip potential. Alright. Hmm. Not really sure where the enemy's gonna... Oh, right in there. Okay, thank you, uh... Thingy, Oracle. Damn it. My teammate blocking me kind of... Kind of, uh... Not saying that's his fault for blocking me. Obviously, he didn't know I was there, but, like... Oh, crap. No, that was so bad. Oh, that was so bad. There were so many people. Dude, that was a bad spawn. My gosh, this game is trolling me right there. Like, actually trolling. Still spray dogs. I don't care. I know I said I'm trying to be more accurate, but dogs deserve to get sprayed anyways. I don't think I'll ever stop doing that. They're just overpowered. It's just logical. Must spray the dog. It's not like it's going to ruin a clip anyways, because you don't get clips on dogs. Actually, someone I was playing with one time got a... Trick shot hit marker on a dog when we were playing search. That was a bad spare right there, I know. 
Yeah, he's, we we're playing search. We we're in a six man in. <laughs> he went for a he was like I think he was the last one alive, and he went for a shot on the last guy in the enemy team, who of course had a dog. Why can't I jump? Ooh, I hit the wrong button. I don't know why. No, what was I doing? I don't. I don't know, man. Yeah, it was kind of funny though, and of course he doesn't record, but I was spectating. I actually think there was one other person alive, but I happened to be. No, no, he was last alive. Never mind. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I was spectating him, and uh, <laughs> I was recording that, so it was pretty funny. I got his reaction and everything. I just hit mark the dog, like even though spec. Oh, there's a clip right there. What the hell, man? Even though spectators can't see hit markers, which is still kind of dumb. Like I don't know why they haven't fixed that yet. Like they even added the update for orange hit markers, but they still didn't make it so you can spectate hit markers. I don't really get it. Maybe they have a reason for not letting you see hit markers. Like, is there a reason? Like, an actual reason? I just discovered this head glitch, like, while playing this, like, earlier today, a couple games, like, I guess not a couple games ago, but earlier today. Like, isn't this fantastic, perfect head glitch right here? I never knew that existed. It's perfect. Just, this is perfect. So yeah, just a quick little tip for you guys there. Use that head glitch if you're playing in the blown-up version. Yeah. I mean, I don't get to play the blown-up version that often, so... I guess it would be harder to notice something like that. But yeah, I did notice that just recently. Kind of shredding these fools right here now, though. Oh gosh, nope, nope. Mm, there was one behind me. Not much I could do there. Didn't know it was there, so whatever. Okay, there's a guy camping in the kitchen who just got smacked in the damn head. That headshot. <laughs> got domed. As I like to say. Ah, oh, right in the back. Let's put on some vests for my team here. Actually, mostly for me. To be honest, I don't, I don't really put them down for my team. I put them down for me. <laughs> it's just because you get melted so fast in this game. I just feel like it's pretty important to have vests. Even though a lot of people still use armor piercing and stuff on their red guns. It's like, okay, your red gun kills an armored, like a ballistic vest person in like five shots anyways. Don't you think... Armor piercing is a little overkill. Do you really need to be a three-shot kill? Yeah, but you know, whatever. It turned on. See, this accuracy is quite a accuracy is quite a bit better though. Like, I feel like this is all the USR that I or not all the USR. I, I feel like that me using the USR for a while has greatly contributed to me getting a lot better at just sniping and just like a lot more accurate and. Just a lot better at this game in general. My team seems to have lost that even though we had a lead for a while, but I actually turned that around quite a bit. Like, I was, I think I was going negative at one point in the beginning, but 35 to, or 53 to 35, that's, that's quite a turnaround there. I think so. I started uh, turning it up at the end there, so. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment. What do you think of this? Will you try this? Will you, you know, will some of you guys maybe, uh, see this, these, see these amazing results and try this for yourself? You know, use the USR a little bit, see if you get better using semi-autos, try to control your fire, try to be more accurate. I mean, I personally feel like that's helped me a lot, and honestly, that is one of the main reasons that... Ooh, drop zone. That is one of the main reasons, like, that I ever get better at COD anyways, is because I challenge myself. And whenever you challenge yourself to something, you'll just generally get better at it faster than you normally would. So, little tip right there. That's how I, I mean... Every time I've gotten better at hitting clips, that's always been the reason. It's just because I've been, you know, learning to... You know, I've been challenging myself, and I've been teaching myself to, you know, uh, play better at the game from in various ways. And this was another one of those ways, and I think I'm going to keep doing this, actually, because uh, I think that helped me a lot, actually. I mean, I I used to be, like, just spraying all over the place with the, with the links and the VKS. <coughs> no pun intended, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I think this... I think this is a lot better. I think these are some pretty good results. I'm pretty impressed with how I've been doing. I've hit a couple close already with it, and... And yeah, so... Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.